disclosures of personal and prejudicial interest. If you could please indicate. There being none, um, we now call upon Councillor Rob Stewart to pay tribute to former Councillor June Burton. Lord Mayor, Lord Lieutenant, High Sheriff, Honourable Recorder, Distinguished Guests, it gives me great pleasure to support uh, the motion agreed by Council on the 7th of July 2022 and pay tribute to former Councillor June Burtonshaw. Councillor June Burtonshaw served the Penderi community for many, many years. She was Lord Mayor of the City and County of Swansea from the year 2002 to 2003. June was born in Town Hill. She was evacuated to Park Mill during the war and returned to Town Hill after the war. She was educated at Park Mill School, Powys Avenue School and Flinnebrin High School for girls. June started work as a window dresser with Marks and Spencer, later working as a school dinner lady in Terrace Road School. She then went back to college to take a course of shorthand and typing and her first job as a secretary was with the Medical Research Centre at the University College of Wales in Swansea. June has been a member of the Labour Party for over 40 years. She was secretary of the Penderi branch, Labour Party for many years. She was the first woman president of the Swansea East constituency Labour Party and the first woman chairman of the Swansea County Labour Party, a formidable political person. In 1983, Penderi Ward elected their, her as their first councillor on the city and county of Swansea Council, where she held the post of chairman for the Works Committee. She has served the Penderi Ward continuously since then, and at the reorganisation of local government in 1995, she was made chairman of the Environment Policy Subcommittee. She then became chairman of the Technical Services and cabinet member for Technical Services. Overall, this period of service amounts to a collective total approximately of over 39 years representing the residents of the city and county of Swansea. And truly distinguished record, Lord Mayor, and I so move the motion. Thank you, and it gives us great pleasure to be able to recognise your service, and I call upon June Burtonshaw to receive her certificate, and it will give me great pleasure to present um, this to you in recognition of your eminent service as a councillor and Lord Mayor. And perhaps I can call upon June to um, give some words of thanks. Oh, thanks, Joe. Uh, first of all, can I thank the leader, Rob, for his kind words and the council for bestowing this honour on me. Uh, I've seen a lot in the 39 years with this council. Uh, some of our officers I've seen start from uh, the basics and now have risen in ranks. That's who whatever he is. <laughs> um, I've made many friends in the council on both sides of the chamber. And I'm pleased to say that. Um, I thank the people of Penderi Ward and, as I said, the council and the Labour group. I know you've got tough times ahead of you. I wish you all the best, but I won't be what, doing anything. I'll be sitting in my chair watching you get on with it. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for your service and uh, I'm sure you'll uh, deserve that rest. So I call upon uh, Councillor Rob Stewart now to pay tribute to former Councillor Mark Child. Vice Lord Lieutenant, High Sheriff, Honorary Recorder, Lord Mayor, distinguished guests, it gives me great pleasure to support the motion agreed by Councillor on the 7th of July 2022 and pay tribute to former, 
former councillor Mark Child. Mark Childs was elected to serve the West Cross Ward of the City and County of Swansea Council in 1999. He was Lord Mayor of the City and County of Swansea from the year 2020 to 2021. Um, the uniqueness of that year being, of course, it spanned the COVID pandemic and Mark's time as Lord Mayor was an incredibly difficult one, but one which he dis discharged the duties with dignity. Mark was born in Rickmansworth, Herefordshire, and his parents moved to Swansea in 1963, where his father came to work as an engineer for Swansea Council. He attended Mayo's Primary School, the Oysterworth Junior Comprehensive and Bishop Gore Senior Comprehensive. Mark worked with, the Welsh, with Welsh Water on the Kingsway in 1983. Yes, they were even working on it then. He trained in IT and worked for Welsh Water until 2001, during which time he was also a union rep finishing as Union Unison Branch Secretary. After Welsh Water, Mark worked in IT with a number of employers in South Wales until 2013, when he decided to focus on his, on his role solely as a council cabinet member. After the 2012 election, Mark was appointed to cabinet, where he served in various roles, always around wellbeing, prevention, and of course, the social care agenda, where he made a huge impact on social services in this city. He's an active member of the Labour Party, having held various positions at branch and constituency level, been delegate to Welsh and UK Conference, and election agent for Tonya Antonazzi MP. Mark was asked to chair the Child and Family Scrutiny Committee following the intervention of Welsh Government into that service in 2009 and played a significant role in supporting improvements in the service to such an extent that his committee was awarded a UK National Scrutiny Honour for their work. Mark has also served on the board of homelessness charity Kailas and previously as a board member of the Wales National Pool. He's a member of the Welsh Conservative, sorry, not the, <laughs> the Welsh. <laughs> that, that would have been a reveal, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> Welsh Government Social Care Advisory Board and has since 2018, he has also been an independent member on Swansea Bay University Health Board. He is a governor at Grange Primary School and vice chair at Bishop Gore Comprehensive School. He's been on both their governing bodies for over 20 years. Again, another large period of remarkable service. Outside of the council, Mark is a keen sailor and a member of the Mumbles Yacht Club, something he tells me he was doing recently again, and an enthusiastic supporter of the Ospreys. He's also a member of the Wales National Pool, where he swims regularly and enjoys walking on the Wales coastal path. He was also telling me that he's taking up running again and is hoping to run the 10K next year in the city. This period amounts to a collective total service of over 23 years representing the residents of both West Cross and the city and county of Swansea. And Lord Mayor, again, I would support the motion. Thank you. Um, I'd like to invite um, former councillor Mark Child to come and receive his certificate. And now invite uh, Mark Child to give a few words of thanks. So thank you, June, for showing me uh, how to work this because I'd forgotten as well. Uh, thank you, Lord Mayor, for the uh, honour of, uh, of the uh, uh, being an alderman. And thank you, Rob, uh, for the kind words he said about me. Um, I've no idea really what an alderman is. But I, I know it's an honour and I'm grateful to receive honours. That's not a problem still. Um, it's been, I mean, I, I always said that I, I, I certainly wasn't the best person in West Cross to represent the people of West Cross. Uh, I certainly wasn't the best person even in the, in the branch to represent the people of West Cross. I think that person is sitting just a couple of seats away from me. But uh, I've always tried to do my best. I've tried to do my best. Uh, using my conscience and my beliefs. I, I, I know I've disagreed with other people uh, politically within the chamber, but I've always tried to show respect and get along with people, whatever party they come from. Um, they might be wrong, but that doesn't mean that you dislike them. Um, and uh, But I'm not sorry I've gone. Um, I've, a little bit of me are sorry, and I still look at what's going on. Um, 
And it doesn't seem to be getting any better, I'm afraid. Um, not because of any, the, the, the work of the people within this chamber. Outside factors are, are buffeting us uh, as, as they often were whilst I was a member. Uh, and I wish everybody in this chamber and everybody working for the council all the very best for the future. Uh, it's been an honour to work with you or work alongside you to be a member of sitting in this chamber. Uh, and I hope everybody, uh, yeah, I wish everybody the best for the future. Thank you very much. I wish to call upon uh, Councillor Chris Holly to pay tribute to former Councillor Gareth Sullivan. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Uh, Lord Deputy Lord Lieutenant, I share it on recorder. It gives me great pleasure to move Councillor, former Councillor Gareth Sullivan uh, to the position of Alderman. Uh, it's ironic, really, that Gareth comes from one of the oldest parts of Swansea, one when, to receive this title as Honorary Alderman. I think it's a, a great honour, not just for the family, but also for his roots there. Uh, obviously, he went to school in Monwen, and after leaving school, went to work in the steelworks in Portalbot. Um, didn't like that very much, so he then moved on to local government in West Glamorgan, and finally endeavoured and retired in 1987. Car Gareth and Carol moved to Clangavellach in 1967 and they had two sons. He'd been a member of the Community Association in 1983 in Langevelach and then elected to the Community Council in 86, Flew Valley Borough Council in 1987 and then Swansea City Council in 1996. And in from the year 2004, became a cabinet member for Regen. I have to tell you this rather funny story. Well, I think Gareth thinks it's funny. I don't think Carol thinks it's too funny either. Um, he hadn't long been elected when he had a phone call about four o'clock in the morning. And uh, this person on the phone told Gareth there was a horse in his front garden. Could he come and remove it? Being a conscientious person, Gareth got up and Carol said perhaps the horse is going to work or something. Um, or words to that effect. He got dressed, went down and got the horse out of the garden. Nobody's quite sure how Gareth got the horse out of the garden. Did he ride it out? Don't think so. Did he frighten it? Probably. Uh, but that's that's one of the things that uh, us councillors get called on. I don't know if anybody else has either done that, but I know I haven't. But anyway, Gareth, this honour is richly deserved, not just for you, but for the family as well. I'd like to invite uh, former councillor Gareth Sullivan to receive his certificate. And when he's got his seat, I'd like to invite uh, Gareth Sullivan to say a few words of thanks. Hi, Sheriff of West Camorgan, Lord Mayor, fellow councillors, and members of the public and officers. Can I thank you, Council, firstly, for uh, bestowing this um, gift, and it is a gift, of the Alderman, being an Alderman of the City of Swansea. I'm not breath and moment. It is indeed an honour. Um, I enjoyed the year that I was in office, and I think Carol did as well. It was a very, very busy year. One of the highlights of the year was a visit to a member's lifeboat. And something I've always wanted to do was to ride on the lifeboat. And that day, 
gave both Carol and myself the opportunity to ride on the lifeboat. There was one clause that that was made was that I didn't use the chain of office. So can I thank Council once again for the honour of bestowing the, the gift, and it was a gift of uh, this gift for today. Thank you very much. And I'd like to call upon uh, Councillor uh, Rob Stewart to pay tribute to former Councillor Des Thomas. Vice Lord Lieutenant, High Sheriff, Honorary Recorder, Lord Mayor, distinguished guests, it gives me great pleasure to support the motion agreed by Council on the 7th of July 2022 and to pay tribute to former, former Councillor Des Thomas. Uh, Des Thomas served the community of West Cross for many years. Des Thomas was the first Lord Mayor of the City and County of Swansea. His installation as Lord Mayor taking place on the 1st of May 1996, a month after the current authority came into being. Des was born in Plasmal and attended Plasmal Primary School. He served uh, an engineering apprenticeship and then worked in the engineering department of Alcoa from 1968, where he was a research technician in the mass spectrometry unit at Swansea University. He was the he was first elected to the County Borough of Swansea Council in 1972 and at reorganisation in 1974 became a member of the then Swansea City Council. He then served on the West Glamorgan County Council from 1979 and was elected to the combined unitary authority of the City and County of Swansea in 1995. He served on all the major committees and in 1996 was Vice Chairman of Highways, Technical and Property Services Committee. In 1996, he was a member of the University of Swansea Court of Governors, and he also served as chairman of governors at Bishop Gore School. He became a magistrate in 1976 and was a member of the Lord Chancellor's Advisory Committee. In 1986, he was also chairman of the Betting Licensing Committee in Swansea. Overall, this period amounts to a collective total of approximately 45 years of service representing the city and county of Swansea and the residents of West Cross. And Des, uh, can we thank you again for your remarkable years of service in so many of uh, communities of Swansea? And with that, Lord Mayor, it gives me pleasure to again move the motion. Thank you, Leader. I'd like to call upon uh, Des Thomas to receive his certificate. I'd like to invite Des to um, say a few words of thanks. Oh, someone's been digging for the information. Um, Lord Mayor and Deputy Lord Lieutenant, High Sheriff, uh, Leader of the Council, members of Council and, um, and fellow guests. Thank you very much for this uh, for this honour. It's um, I've always said it's nice when someone as a councillor, when you receive thanks whether it's um, an email, a telephone message, or if someone bothers to to write a little note and, and put it through the post just to say thank you. And as I see it, this is the council's way of saying thank you to the um, to my fellow recipients today and, and myself. Um, yeah, 45, 48 years, whatever it's been. Um, it's been a lifetime, hasn't it? It's uh, it's been short and yet it's been long and yet it's been been everything in between. Um, when I was first asked to um, to fight um, a seat for Castle Ward all those years ago, it was only to be one term of office, and I'm sure that many others have uh, 
I, I, I've witnessed the, the same on the one term of office. Uh, that was the old Swansea um, City Council, but it was a borough council in those days. Then 73 real council reorganization became the district council. Those heady days of, uh, of Gerald Murphy one side and Point Thomas the other side, they argue in this in this chamber was amazing and things in the city took shape the uh, the quadrant center the the marina the the leisure center you know it all happened so very 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 quickly and then on to west Morgan in 1979 i think it was the by-election for victoria ward you know that's a that's a ward that's disappeared isn't it um but again heavy it is in those days um Lord Haycock was leader, um, John Allison, deputy leader, um, or oh, you name it, the, you know, the, the real heavy hitters of, of Swansea. And then on the 1996 change of, of um, reorganisation again, I was fortunate enough and, and had the honour to be the first Lord Mayor of, of, of this authority. And again, um, Characters like uh, like Tom Jones uh, as the leader and um, Viv Sugar as chief exec, and uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting now to to people we all remember. Um, yeah, good good memories, good days, and um, right up to the present date. We can, you know it's great to see the cranes again in Swansea, isn't it? Buildings going up, to many student uh, accommodation. I know, but. Um, but there are other developments taking place that, that can make members of the council very proud and at least the you know in our time the blocks were put in place so we we look you know with interest at, at, at them coming to fruition i've been very fortunate in having a colleague uh, like mark for, for for 20 odd years in west cross we've, we've worked really well together and we've both stepped down together um strangely enough but uh, you know, um, there is life outside the chamber, so you know, the, you know, it's 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 not all um, retirement. It, your time just gets filled in with other things. So as I said, it's nice to receive thanks from other people, and it's certainly nice to to receive thanks from the council for 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 our service today. So so thank you, Lord Mayor, and thank you for members of the council for bestowing this uh, this honour on us. Thank you very much. Thank you. I felt a bit strange coming to sit in this chair when Des was here. I thought that uh, perhaps I was taking his place, but it's lovely to be able to have this celebratory ceremonial council this afternoon, isn't it? And to be able to celebrate the uh, wonderful service that uh, these individuals have given to the city and county of Swansea. And uh, that closes the formal business. Uh, and I'd like it now to invite you to the Lord Mayor's reception room for a cup of tea and some sandwiches. And uh, thank you ever so much for attending. And uh, I'm sure that um, I'm going to be told off by bre breaching protocol. But I think I would like us all to stand and just applaud the four who've received the Alderman this afternoon.